So we and others have looked at the uh, SF3B1 uh, mutation in uh, myelofibrosis patients. SF3B1 is a well-known mutation uh, in that you see this mutation in MDS, you see certain mutants of the same gene in CLL, completely dif different disease, but uh, this is a mutation that comes up quite a bit. Um, in myeloid malignancies, again, most is known about MDS, SF3B1 uh, portends two things. One is that the prognosis of these patients in MDS is excellent. They seem to, it seems to be a disease defining or biology defining mutation where they have a really good uh, outcome and anemia however is, uh, tends to be a hallmark uh, of, these, uh, of MDS uh, with SF3B1 mutation and you often see an association with ring sideroblasts. So we were interested naturally with all this background in MDS and also some drugs that seem to work preferentially in this setting setting like Luspadercept, which actually the label uh, speaks to uh, ring sideroblasts, for example, uh, in MDS that, uh, that's in the label for Luspadercept. Not necessarily the mutation, but the mutation is closely tied to ring sideroblasts in MDS. So given that, we were interested in looking at what does it mean in myelofibrosis. Um, we've not known of it to be one of the high molecular risk mutations in myelofibrosis. It's not one of those, but you see it in patients. and so we were interested in looking at that and others have looked at it in the past as well and bottom line is that it does not seem to make a difference uh, in myelofibrosis whether it is there or not certainly not in terms of outcomes but again sort of in concordance with the the theme of anemia uh, you see a higher rate of transfusion uh, dependence uh, requirement in patients with SF3B1 mutated uh, myelofibrosis not much else in terms of anything that distinguishes this group from those who don't have the mutation.